In this video, we're going to look at how to convert the trigonometric function of any size angle and express it in terms of its related or reference acute angle. One of the beauty of using the unit circle to define trigonometric function is that instead of us being limited to angles between 0 and 90 degrees, we can now give as inputs into those trig functions angles of any magnitude. In addition, and what this video is about, the trigonometric function of any size angle can always be expressed back as a trigonometric function of an acute angle. This acute angle is what we call the related or reference angle. Let's start off with an example. Here we've got cos 120 degrees and we want to express it as a cosine of an acute angle. There are two pieces of information we need. First, we need to find the related acute angle Second, we also need to determine the sign of the function within the quadrant. First step, let's identify where the angle 120 degrees corresponds to. Recall that 0 degree is taken to be the positive x axis. Rotation in the anti-clockwise direction is taken to be positive. So the ray corresponding to 120 degrees would be obtained by starting from 0, rotating anti-clockwise for 120 degree, this is 120 degree. The related acute angle is the angle between the ray and the x-axis. So this angle here is 60 degrees, is our related acute angle. Next, we need to determine the sign of cos within quadrant two. We can use the acronym all stations to central to help us. Remember that within the second quadrant, only sine is positive, which means that cosine is going to be negative in the second quadrant. Having these two pieces of information, we can now write cos 120 degrees as minus cos 60 degrees. Our second example, we're going to express sine 330 degrees in terms of its related acute angle. Again, we need two pieces of information, the related acute angle and the sine of the sine function. First, we need to identify the position of the ray 330 degrees. Starting off with zero degrees as the positive x-axis, rotation in the anti-clockwise direction is positive. So we need to rotate a total of 330 degree and this ray is going to correspond to the angle 330 degree. The related acute angle is the acute angle between the ray and the x-axis, so that's going to be 30 degree, and that's our first piece of information. The related angle is 30 degree. Using the acronym all stations to central, we know that sine is going to be negative in the fourth quadrant, Having these two pieces of information, we can now write sine 330 degrees as negative sine 30 degrees. Our third example, we have tan negative 135 degrees. Again, we start off at zero degree, but this time we're going to be rotating in the clockwise direction because that corresponds to a negative angle. Starting from zero, we're going to rotate clockwise for 135 degree. And this ray here is going to correspond to the angle negative 135 degrees. The related acute angle, again, is the angle between the ray and the x-axis, which is going to be 45 degree here. So that's our first piece of information. Using the acronym, all stations to central, we now have got tan being positive in the third quadrant. Putting all this together, tan negative 135 is the same as positive tan 45 degrees. Our last example is cos 480 degrees. Now this is greater than 360 degrees, but the same idea applies. Starting off at zero degrees, we're going to be rotating anti-clockwise, which is the positive direction. First, we're going to rotate 360 degrees. But to get to 480 degrees, we need to rotate a further 120 degree. So this ray is going to correspond to the angle of positive 480 degree. The related acute angle again is the angle between the ray and the x-axis, which is going to be equal to 60 degree. Using the acronym, 
all stations to central, cos is negative in the second quadrant, and therefore cos 420 degrees can be expressed as negative cos 60 degrees. Thanks everyone for watching the video. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please help us by clicking like and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.